it is our time to come back. We're gonna check out the legendary Gideon's Bakehouse here at Disney Springs. Let's try some epic cookies. Hello everybody and welcome to a taste test adventure. My name is Chris and I'm joined by Matt. How's it going everyone? We are at Disney Springs Woo. and we are going to be trying the legendary, way super hyped Gideon's Bakehouse, which just opened like last week. Um, if you don't know what this place is, they're known for like their giant half pound cookies and crazy cake and apparently it's just absurd. I'm excited for it. It's really hard to get in here. You had to get a return time. We waited, I think, 70 minutes for ours, which is not terrible. Uh, but just walking out here, you can smell the baked goods. Woo. It smells so good. <laughs> so you my mouth more than I just ate, too. Yeah, that's true. We, we just had a couple other things. So Matt and I are ready. We're just waiting for our time to go into the shop. We're going to document it all for you, as well as try a few things. So let's check out Gideon's Big House. All right, we're almost at the front. About to go inside Gideon's Bakehouse. We have the menu here for January. It all looks so good. I'm excited to actually go in. I've heard the place is really cool to look at too. So I'm excited. Matt, you know what you're getting? Yep. Cool, I think we're excited. Hello. Hi. All right, we're getting ready. So we're inside and this place looks like something straight out of Harry Potter. That's crazy. <laughs> Or Tim Burton, kind of both actually. So here are the the cakes. Ooh, the cakes they got. Ooh, they got red velvet cake and a secret slice, limited edition cookie, coffee cake cookie, what hot cookie with ice cream. So many things. Yes, this place looks so cool and it smells incredible in here. So. Yeah, this is definitely an experience for sure in terms of like some place to visit just to visit. So we're gonna show you what we got in a second. Here's the cake case. Look at those cakes, like that's hella impressive. Oh, that red velvet. Look at that. Look how freaking huge that slice is. That's insane. So yep, we're gonna try it out in just a minute. All right, so I got a couple different things from Gideon's. First, we're gonna start with their famous peanut butter cold brew. Apparently they're famous for this, so I'm excited to try it. Let's see how it is, bottoms up. Ooh. That's good. It's super rich, like super rich, but you taste those nice notes of the peanut butter that's got a little bit of saltiness to it. You taste the coffee. It's not overwhelming, which is kind of nice, and it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. This is one of the best coffees I've had in a long time. It's very, very good. Very rich, though. So it's, it's definitely not something you would expect to finish quickly. You have to kind of savor it. All right, so we're going to try the first of our giant cookies. This is the Cookies and Cream cookie so it looks like it's just got like a bunch of crushed oreos on it it's freaking huge all of these cookies are around half a pound so they're they're expensive they're like six bucks a piece but considering how big the cookie is and how good they look i think that price is going to be worth it uh let's try out this cookies and cream cookie shall we bottoms up that is so good I can see just from when you took a bite of it. I can see that smile on your face. Oh man. So it's a soft cookie. The dough on the inside reminds me of the Publix sugar cookies. So imagine that, but covered on the outside with Oreos and being like nice and soft and you get like a thick layer of it. And that's exactly what this is. It's delicious. This is a really, really good cookie. Oh yeah. That is 100% worth it. Now we're gonna try this one. 
This one is especially huge. Look how big that thing is. This is the peanut butter chunk cookie, which I'm assuming is just the same kind of cookie, but it's got salt, peanuts, and peanut butter chips on the outside. If it's any, if the last one was any indication, this one's gotta be the bomb.com. So let's make sure, bottoms up. Oh yeah, very rich, very peanut buttery. You get a little bit of a crunch from the peanuts on top. The salt is really nice because it, it kind of cuts because, I mean, a pure peanut butter cookie is very rich. The salt kind of cuts through that richness a little bit. It's fantastic. Honestly, like, I understand why this place gets as much hype as it does because these cookies are really, really good. So if you are coming to Disney Springs, even if there's a lie, come to this place. This stuff is fantastic. All right, so here's the cookies and cream cookie. Matt's having a zen moment there. Yeah, it's a very soft cookie. Nice difference in texture when you get to the Oreos on the outside. Very soft. You see what I mean by the sugar cookie, though? It does yeah. taste like public sugar cookie. Or, like, I've tried the Four River cookies, and they're pretty big cookies, almost as big as these. But one of my favorite Four Rivers cookies is the peanut butter cookie. It's got actual Reese's in the cookie. That is pretty good. This one doesn't have that, but I think it's I think it's pretty good. But the cookies and cream is definitely like a good flavor, and it's definitely got that soft cookie texture. Like one, one of those iced uh, cookies that we have at Publix. One of the best cookies you've had? Definitely one of the good ones. All right, try that one. It's a really good cookie. It's kind of almost like the same kind of Reese's peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, it might be actually. Yeah, it's got like a little salt to it, but not too bad. It's very like a creamy peanut butter flavor. Overall, like very soft and very good. Definitely worth the money for it. All right, well, that is going to do it for our taste test adventure here at Gideon's Bakehouse here at Disney Springs. Definitely come check it out. It is fantastic. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. We release new videos four days a week on the channel, so be sure to check them out. Um, it's good stuff. Also, hit that like button. We're trying to get 10 likes a video in 2021, so help us out with that. Help our videos be seen by more people. Uh, hit that like button. That's going to do it. We will see you next time on Taste Test Adventures. Bye-bye. <laughs>